Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to Final Trade. We're going to take our final 60-day post-release look at Commander Master Collector Box sales data off of TCG Player in the entire pre-release period and up to 60 days post-release. It sold 5,043 boxes at a total of $979,000 for an average sales price over the whole period of $194 per box. Now, you may remember the original wholesale price for these was around $180 per collector box, which brings the break-even after shipping and market fees to around $220 for the average small card store in the U.S. to put them up on a big marketplace and simply not lose money. Now, I looked out before I started filming this evening, and you can find these on eBay right now for $152. $152 bucks, and the original wholesale price was $180. Very, very bad. It's an issue that Watsi thinks that somehow if they raise prices, people will just dig deeper and find more money out of their pockets to allocate towards magic. And it's simply not going to work that way. There is a little bit of, a pr of price elasticity from buyers, but not an unlimited amount. If it's a really good product and the additional amount that Watsi is asking for it is not too high, people will dig a little deeper and they'll pay a little extra for it. But you can't just push that on and on and on forever. And really, this may have been the set where we kind of found the breaking point. I mean, I know we talk about Magic 30, but there was a visceral reaction to Magic 30 that people simply hated the idea of it. People wanted Commander Masters to succeed. They wanted it to be a good set. They wanted it to be a good, valuable product. But it was just priced too damn high. And it got that kind of contagious negativity to it and then people didn't want it anymore it kind of soured things and so what can we compare this to of course we want to compare it to double masters 2022 that's one thing since that's the best comparison being a master set released one year ago in the same slot of time and we're going to throw phyrexia up there the best selling standard set in all of magic history we'll put both of these on the plot and you see that blue line of commander masters drops way down here so you can see how far short it fell on the cumulative spend plot of Double Masters 2022, selling only about 40% as many dollars worth of product on TCG Player in the same relative time period of its life cycle. And it only did about 30% better than Phyrexia. So when you have a master set, which is supposed to be the premium expensive product, you pay a lot, you're supposed to get a lot. And then it's a master set geared towards the most popular play format, Commander, and it only sells about 30% better than the best-selling standard set. Very, very poor performance. And Watsi needs to really understand that, like I was saying, you cannot simply ask people to stretch their wallets open further and further, harder and harder, forever. And Rudy commented a couple days ago that some people inside Watsi were saying that Watsi is going to take it even further with Caverns of Ixalan. They're planning to lower the print run a bit, but make up the revenue by increasing prices again. And really what that's doing is just making the value proposition even worse. And they're thinking that people will just dig even deeper to pay for magic than they were before. And eventually they're going to find, painfully, that it's just not that way. People will dig a bit if they think the product is good enough. But the product has to be good enough for a standard set like Caverns of Ixalan. I don't think it's going to cut it. And it apparently didn't cut it for Commander Masters. We see how bad the sales went. And of course, something I've been talking about a lot is when you've only sold about 5,000 of these boxes out to 60 days post-release and Double Masters 2022, let's see what this number is, 9,600. When you've only sold half as many boxes in the same time period, there's still a lot of this product for Commander Master Collector Boxes sitting out there somewhere. You know, it's important, and we don't quite have insight, is most of that sitting in Watsi's warehouse in Austin? Is it sitting at distributors? Is it sitting with card stores? Is it sitting in my closet? You know, it could be any of many places, and it kind of matters for the future. If it's sitting in Watsi's warehouse in Austin, then we can definitely expect this stuff to just get dumped wholesale on Amazon just like crazy at some point this fall, probably Black Friday, maybe a little later. But it's going to be very difficult to move all this product. And as I've said in the past, none of us really believes that Watsi printed less Commander Masters 
collector boxes than they did Double Masters 22 collector boxes last year. And those have just slid and slid and slid continuously, nonstop. They've barely caught a breath in the whole last year. And so I expect the prices of these to just stay low. I don't expect them to catch any wind and start moving up anytime soon. Because as you can see from this plot, we expect that about twice as many of them are still in existence, still in the system, not even through the retail level yet as Double Masters 2022 had moved in the same relative time period. So very bad results, but you know, Watsi at some point needs to understand where to price these products to get people excited, to get them to open the product, which will maybe get them to want to open more of the product. But when you price people out of it from the very start, well, they don't like the product, they don't want to buy it, and then they can't enjoy it and decide to buy more of it. So eventually WotC is going to learn some of these lessons, but uh, we'll see how long it takes. I think you have a long time to buy these boxes, years, <laughs> 12, 18 months at least, to buy these boxes before we expect them to really start trending upwards. So you can afford to be pretty selective at the prices you buy them for. Let me know what you think, guys. Thanks to everyone who makes this content possible, especially my supporters on Patreon. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and join me on Final Trade.